You will not do great things unless you are prepared to take great risks. And that's what I'm doing now. Um, I hope I don't completely destroy this guitar. I don't think I will. But then again, <laughs> I've thought things before that didn't turn out the way I thought. Okay, so I have been thinking for a while about what I'm going to do with the edges of this guitar. I thought maybe I would do a simple roundover. But no, I'm not going to do a simple roundover. I'm going to do some rather more extreme beveling. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I don't have a router bit, like a chamfer bit, that would do the beveling on the edge. Um, and that wouldn't necessarily be the ideal way to go either, because I don't want it to be you know, a uniform depth into the body that way all the way around. I want it to be nice and contoured and, and flowy and, and interesting. So I'm going to, are you ready? I'm going to use my angle grinder. No, actually, that's not that, that shocking. I've seen people um, shape a Les Paul top using an angle grinder with a flat disc. So it's the kind of thing that's that's often done, just not by me. <laughs> I've, I've never attempted anything like this before. So let's see how I go. far from over but I can see it's going quite well um, that's what's called and I know I know that guitar people know this already but some people might be watching this who aren't guitar people that huge bevel there is what's called the arm contour it's just comfortable to have it shaped that way because your arm hangs over the front of the guitar there and a nice big curve is well comfortable that's going all right I mean it is very rough that's the nature of this this tool, um, especially on this wood, which is quite a stringy finish, so it's always going to be a bit rough doing this. But I'll break out the sanders and then the sandpaper, and I think that's going to look pretty good. Nice. Yeah, that curve looks really good. I like that. Um, it's going to be a bit difficult to get in there, but it's doable. Um, easier than a router, because, you know, with a router you'd have to sit the bass flat on the guitar and that... Um, fretboard would be in the way and so on and so forth. So it can be done. Um, I will go away and continue with this and you come back soon when the very rough version is completed. Well, I don't think I'm speaking prematurely when I declare victory over this new task in the sense that I haven't ruined anything. Um, it is rough but it's in a state where I can now start making it look a bit finer and cleaner with with sanders, which is what I'll do now. I like that. That nice point there too, that's cool. All right. So I think it's looking nice. Um, I also think that any remaining sanding I do on that bevel, I should probably do by hand. And so I will. But I'm glad I made that call to do the beveling. It's got a nice rounded edge all the way around. That point there I like in particular. So the um, the beveling that I'm doing on the front, I guess you could say is a bit like a, a, a pretty extreme roundover. And I may do some of that beveling on the back as well, but even where I don't, I want there to be at least a standard roundover on the edges. So I'm just going to go around the back of the body now with my roundover bit on my router and make it look um, rounded over. <laughs> so let's, let's rock and roll. So that was going to be the challenging bit, just in that inside curve there, but it looks, looks pretty good. It is 
quite a small round over bit. I almost wish I had a larger one, but it's okay. A small round over is, is not better than none at all. And in some areas, as I said, like here, it's difficult to put the round over on because I've already started to bevel the edge off. And that's fine. I don't need a round over there. Uh, let's do the other side. Earmuffs. Protect your ears. The eyes and ears are rather important. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I made some little scratches, but I can get those out. Oops. It's alright, don't panic. They will sand out easily. All right, and now I'll just go around and sand that round over to make it as smooth as possible. I think that, that rounding over and sanding that I did around the edges there is all the shaping that I'll do on the back of the body. That's really nice. And although redwood is a bit too soft for my liking, uh, on the sides, that grain is really quite striking. That's nice. I like that. But the grain on the front and on the front and back isn't too bad either. I don't know how well you can see it. It's um, a nice, well, nice or not, it's it's a straight, close grain. Looks pretty good. Um, the only other shaping that I'm going to be doing, other than just light sanding, tidying things up, is a bit more shaping around the neck joint and the back of the neck. So, in a day, my guitar took a new shape, and I really like it. Why am I revisiting the headstock? Just a little thing. I was having difficulty accessing the truss rod adjuster because when you put the Allen key in, like so, and I don't even know if this is the correct one, in fact it's not, I was having to put it in quite steeply and thus it was not easy to get it into the socket in the end of the truss rod adjuster. And the reason that that was difficult is that, um, now this isn't a scarf joint, this is an, a back angle that I cut in with the bandsaw. It's not quite as steep. I was going to say not quite as steep as it should be. There's nothing wrong with how steep it is, but the fact that it is quite a shallow angle made it difficult to get the Allen key onto um, the right angle to so stick it into that adjuster. Um, so really, I was trying to do that, but I wanted to be able to do that. So I've cut the access slot longer. I, could, I wasn't going to stand there and file it. So I've set up, um, I've set the guitar up and a beam of wood up so that when I run my router along the beam of wood, uh, the bit cuts exactly where I want it to. So I've used my router to do that. It's just neater as well as quicker. And now I can get the Allen key in there, no trouble at all. That is a little bit longer than I had intended, but it's yeah, not that long. It still looks all right. Um, I may even... Use a truss rod cover. Don't know, maybe, we'll see. I'll think about it. But that's fixed now. <laughs> 